Are you still wasting hours manually putting together business reports? Why would you do that? Fighting with scanned documents, squinting at spreadsheets, and copying numbers till your eyes hurt. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if you could just pull all that data automatically and turn your reporting from a weekly headache into something you knock out in five minutes? Here's a crazy stat. People who work in business generally waste about 40% of their week just gathering and organizing data. That's two whole days you're spending on stuff that computers can handle in minutes. But hang on. Before you roll your eyes at another tech promise, let me show you exactly how TextCortex's image analysis is changing, how real companies deal with their reporting. Over the next few minutes, I'm gonna walk you through three ways AI can totally change your business reporting. You'll learn how to pull important data from any scanned document or image, a step-by-step -step way to fly through your entire reporting process, and some real-world examples of companies saving a lot of time every week doing this. Plus, I'll share how I use this to create full reports while actually focusing on what the data means instead of just collecting it. Let's face it, old school reporting sucks. You're stuck with doing things like having data spread across different file types, information locked in scanned docs and images, and hours wasted copying numbers. Also, you're always worrying about making mistakes in calculations. I used to waste my entire Friday just putting together weekly reports, but now my computer handles about 90% of that work because it's better at three things that manual work just can't touch. TextCortex works in three main steps here. Step one, it scans and figures out what kind of document you uploaded, whether it's financial statements, receipts, survey results, or inventory lists. The system automatically spots the document structure. Then it pulls out all the relevant info, numbers, dates, categories, product names, and sorts them correctly. It's crazy simple, but works amazingly well. Finally, it turns all the raw data into organized, useful reports made specifically for what you need. You can check out the four best ways companies are using this tech right now. First way is financial reporting. You can automatically grab figures from invoices, statements, and receipts to create financial summaries. Another way is people are using it for customer insights. You can turn survey answers and feedback forms into data, and you can use that information in any way you'd like to improve your business processes. Third is inventory management. You can keep tabs on stock levels from receipts and delivery notes by uploading those images. Four, you can pull and organize key info for regulatory reporting for compliance documentation. One trick that changed how I used TextCortex was setting up a weekly approach. I essentially would log into my account and what I would do is I would take things like different receipts and reports from a financial standpoint, that was just the data on the screen, and I would upload that document or image to TextCortex. Then I would write a prompt that I would use every week using the templates feature. For example, I would say, take this list of reports and of receipts and give a breakdown as to what was spent, what was possibly spent poorly, and what you recommend to improve for spending in the upcoming weeks. And then for example, if I connected it to my knowledge base of my business structure, which has a bunch of different PDFs on how my business works, it could give me good advice. Obviously, I would pick whatever model works. I think, you know, there's improvement with like O3 and those better thinking models. So I would definitely recommend using those. And with that, you can just create your complete actual full-fledged business report and advice in one click. The whole thing takes under five minutes and compared to the hours you'd spend by doing it manually, I think it's pretty huge. So if you want better business insights in half the time, you really should try our image analysis tool. In this video, I've showed you all the different ways that it can work for different use cases, and I've given you this tangible piece of advice, which you know you can take that for marketing reports, you can take that for any of the examples I gave and make it so much easier. So when you have info coming in, you have an output that is actually tangibly time-saving. And honestly, it would have written a better report than I could have anyways. So with that being said, thank you so much for making the time today with us to learn a little bit more about how to save time using this awesome tool. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.